Hi, Typo3 community. In this video, Benji and me are going to show you how to get started with Typo3. So let's go. OK, so to get started, we've set up a blank Typo3 installation with nothing to it. Um, we didn't build it with Composer this time, just to show that there are different ways to make that work. So if we take a look at our blank Typo3 installation and we go to the page module, we see that there's no pages. So what happens if we go to the front end? We get an error message. Oops. What does it say? It says um, that we don't have add any pages to the root level. So Typo3 right. doesn't know what to display. Sure, and, and this is because there's n basically nothing here, right? Yeah. So we need to add a page to that. All right, so we'll just add a new page and we'll call it home page here. It's currently disabled, right? Mm -hmm. So the next step is that we basically edit the page and just walk through the different patterns here. I'm going to move away the page tree for a sec. So First off, we want to go to the behavior tab and say, OK, this is the root page of our mm -hmm. current tree. Why is this? This is because the menu and all other options need to need to have a, a Typo3 can handle multi websites. OK. Yeah. So when you now would generate a menu, it must know where its starting point is. All right. So With we this could option, have for example, we tell um, the URL handling and um, the menu where the root page is. So when I build a menu with like two or three levels uh, and do a breadcrumb, it will go back to that page. All right, so this is the starting point yeah. of the website. Okay, perfect. So this is the first thing we do. Um, the other thing we do, we go to the access tab and enable the page, right? Yeah. So that we see something. Otherwise, so, otherwise we would see the same message as before in the front end. All right, so if we show the page tree again, we can now see that we have a little globe icon. Yeah. And we can now call this page, right? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> so here we go. So Typo3 tells us that there's no TypoScript template found. Yeah. So because exactly. it has no rendering definition whatsoever, it doesn't know what to do. Exactly. TypoScript is our rendering definition. Um, that means, yes, you can do add a lot of pages, but you must tell Typo3 what to do with these pages. All right. So we go back to the Typo3 backend. There's a template module right yeah. here. And if we select the home page, we can create a new template for that site. Yeah, Perfect. exactly. So we'll just do that and hide the page tree again. And right here, we see a new template record. Mm -hmm. um, it has a title. What does the title do? The title is just for identification in the backend. All right, so, so it has we basically no other value to it, um, except you have multiple templates, you know, to differentiate be between each other. OK, yeah. that makes sense. So if we save this, mm -hmm. um, save and close this, um, we have a site title. Yeah. What does that do? The site title is basically when you have a home page. Um, it's a title generated in the title tag. All right. It will so, be added to it. That means so if we if reload the front end, first of all, we get a hello world. Yes. We'll know why in a second. Mm -hmm. And it says home page up here in the title tag. Yes, of the browser. and there's nothing to it. All so right. now we could use the uh, site title to add our company name, um, or in this case, the Type 3 YouTube demo. OK, so if we now reload this, all right, now it says YouTube demo colon. Home page. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. That's the default behavior. Right. The description field? You can add useful information for yourself in there, but that's it. Fair enough. <coughs> then we have constants, yeah. which is empty right now. Mm -hmm. um, and we will explain these in detail later, yeah. I guess. Um, and we have setup. Mm -hmm. So if we edit the setup field, we're getting some very basic type of script. Yeah. And this is just what we're actually seeing. So it does an hello world. And now I could start building building my entire site like page dot 
five, I guess, because these are in order. Yep. Correct. So we do this is a text object and page dot five dot value equals div class cl equals no class. And then I have the hello world and then I go page dot say twenty. Mm -hmm. And we need to close the diff, right? Yeah, but this isn't how templating works, yeah, right? Yeah, you could do it like that. <laughs> but I, I, I guess um, we, we need a sweeter solution here. <laughs> Pretty much, because this is all stored in the database, right? Yeah. OK, so I cannot deploy this automatically. Nope. It's, it's a hassle. All right, cool. So we'll just save this. Um, there's a better way to do these things, right? Yeah. So where do we go? In general, well, we would store our configuration for every Typos3 type site uh, in a site package. OK. Yeah, that's basically just a container for, for stuff like your theme you could download, just a place where Typos3 can look up stuff. Mm -hmm. So we could use the site package builder. That's exactly for the build for that reason. That means you could go to sitepackagebuilder.com. Exactly. And this will basically generate a, a wrapper for your theme or your okay. configuration. And you can configure it with your own values. In that case, um, it says, OK, it needs a base package. So mm -hmm. that's basically <coughs> the rendering definition below. OK. Um, we have the bootstrap package, which comes from with a very own rendering definition. And we have the ship by the core one that is fluid style content. All right, so we'll we'll take the easier one and leave the bootstrap package out for later. We can go to that later, but right, for now, perfect. we just want a plain website, so we could, should go for that. OK, so we just add a, a title here, a description, which is optional, so we'll leave it out. We don't have a repository URL. We do have an author, which is regular Joe. Um, We have a company, which is uh, Acme Inc. And we have a website, which is acme.com. Yep. So we create this now. Mm -hmm. And now we get yet information how it's going to look like, mm -hmm. certain stuff like an extension key, which is the identifier for that package. Yep. And we can just download it right away, correct? Yep. All right. So we'll just do this. All right. Next step, we go to the type of three backend. Mm -hmm. And because it's an extension, we can now upload it right here, correct? Yeah. So if we select choose upload, upload the YouTube demo, and hit the upload button. All right. Now so it has been installed. Now we should see that there is a new extension in the extension manager that's labeled as before. And you see it's already installed. Ah, nice. So it's mm -hmm. two steps in one. Yeah, exactly. Neat. So. What we have now is if we go to our code editor and go to the typo 3 conf x directory, we need to reload this, right? Because we just uploaded it. Yep. Perfect. So there's a lot of things going on right here. Yep. Um, so a lot of things that we can, that we can explore. Um, <clears throat> what's the main difference now if I want to have a template and a front end rendering? For type of three, what would I change? What main difference? Um, for now, this um, extension you downloaded is just a placeholder. All right. That means it has a lot of folders and, and files that are mainly empty. They're just there for preparation and okay. for to show like the classes folder um, just contains git ignore files or git keep files. All right. So this so is stuff this like is we have just here. Just empty. We can delete it without without having any effect for now. But there is a purpose to them, and we're yeah. going to show the, this purpose later yeah, in future exactly. videos. For now, right, cool. it's totally ir irrelevant. Um, we don't have to care about this. All right. Um, the first step we would do is uh, we just check out what it's coming by default. That means we go to the um, template record again. All right. We're having. So now we're editing the whole record, yes. OK, and we'll, we'll hide the page tree for the yeah. time being, so we've got some more, some more room in here. So when you now scroll down, we have a rendering, de rendering definition that currently says page like page. Um, so we will now delete it completely. That means if you now save 
and but have a look at the front end, we would basically get we will basically get the message again. But that's no problem. It's a different one, but yet yet again, because Table Three has no idea what to do it right now. Now it has a do. template. Yeah. All right. So we will now provide so-called um, includes or okay. static templates. Um, these one will come with the generated side package. And we'll okay. register it in there. So we will show the later for now. Um, we just see our YouTube demo and we can just include it. Okay, so we include it and we click save yeah. and we go to the front end. Yes. And now we get some some content at least. Yeah. So the next steps for me would be to create some, some dummy content, right? Some pages. Yeah, okay. we could do that. I'll use the function module for that because it speeds up creating new pages. So we go to web functions select the home page and I'm going to zoom out a bit here and then we just create a page which says about us and contact products and contact and then we'll just create these and mm -hmm. then maybe we go to the about us page and create a second level of navigation so yeah. this would be about Matthias and about Benji mm -hmm. All right, so the next step would be to go to the home page in the page module mm -hmm. and create content, or is there something else we should do first? We should do something else first, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> but I just don't want it to stop you in totally your effort. Fine. So I would now edit the root page we already created that's called home page. Okay, in so case. we click on the icon yeah, and, and can select go to edit. edit. Perfect. Uh, and we will also add the page TS configuration okay. for the backend. What that's TypeScript, or is this that's something else? Some sort of TypeScript. That's the syntax is mainly equal. Okay. But difference in in very various. Um, so it's basically just reusing syntax. Reusing but syntax, but doing something different. Okay. The difference between uh, constants and setup, and page just config. That means TypeScript and TS config is the one is for configuring the backend. And the other one is for configuring the front end output. Which one is for which? TypeScript is for front end output. All right. TS config for back end configuration. Okay, perfect. So now you can see you already opened the tab. Um, you see the TypeScript, it also says TypeScript configuration, but it says also include page TS config from an extension. All right. So in that so case, we select, this. we select this and save again. This would be used to. Um, at backend layouts for the editor in a later okay. point, disable fields and just makes a type of three backend look and feel um, like you need it. Okay. You can now see by including this uh, TS config file, you see you now have backend layouts added to the site. Um, All right. That are default ones just for showing it. Okay. So if you don't save <coughs> it and just go back, okay, you saved it already. Um, you now basically see that we reduce the number of columns we see in the page module. Okay, and columns is the amount of positions where positions, I can have content, exactly. right? Positions, yeah. Okay, so if we create a content element right here, and we'll just use a regular text element, I guess, and we have... And we go to the subheader and say... And then we have uh, the copy text, which yep. would just be. OK, so we save and close. And then we can reload the front end, right? Yeah. Wow, now a lot of things changed. Not really, but we now see um, the ex example code you generated for your demands also outputs uh, the menu on the top. You can see that there are um, also these sub-navigation levels mm -hmm. are generated, and you see below um, that your first content element um, is rendered to the front end. It okay, doesn't nice. look really nice because we didn't add CSS files, JavaScript files, all, all the stuff you need to make it pretty. It's just not there. It's just right. empty. So if we just start out with Type of 3, I suggest we go to, say, bootstrap.com. It's okay. very, very... All right.